Yo, I'm Saxon with Guyna Cube, and in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm going to show you how you can actually get a date for when your data was last refreshed. A general good practice is to have a date on your report that lets you know how fresh that data is. So basically, when was it refreshed last? And this is also a great way to tell if maybe there's a problem with the report or that refresh isn't working. This is something that Patrick and I have done and we know about, but I realized we don't have a video on it. So I just wanted to show you real quick of how you could accomplish that inside of Power BI. So enough of all this talking, let's head over to my machine and take a look. We're inside of Power BI desktop. I've got a general data model that's here. I got a fact table. I've got some dimensions. Life is good. My goal is to get a data refresh date on the canvas. So to do that, we're going to head over to Power Query by hitting transform data. We're going to go to new source blank query do equal. And we're going to do equal date time dot local now. And then we're just going to hit the check. And then we can rename this to give it a name for our table. So now we've got this table with this date. And so I actually want to convert it to a table so that we have an actual column or format that we can get. Bam. And then we can rename this. I'm going to call it date time. Now what we can do is we can actually duplicate the column, the, the actual column itself. And I'm going to call this date. And here we can actually go to transform and then go to date and say date only. And then I can grab this again and say duplicate column. We'll call this time. And here I want to go to date and say, or sorry, go to time and do time only. And then we've actually got a table here that's going to be refreshed whenever we actually go and refresh the model. So let's go ahead and do close and apply. And then we'll see our data refresh table. Right, we can drag, I'll just drag date time here so that we can actually see, change it to a card. There we go. And so now we can see here that this is at 955. And if we go ahead and we say refresh a whole model, and then we can see our time is actually updated. One thing to realize is that if I actually refresh an individual table inside a Power BI desktop, this refresh data won't be updated. For example, if I come back to my data model here and I go to geography and I say refresh data, I go back, we will see that my actual time didn't update. That's because I'm just updating an individual table and not the whole model. So really what keys this is that data refresh table has to refresh. And so you got to refresh at least just that table, if not all of the tables. When you publish this to the Power BI service, you won't have that problem because you've got to refresh the whole model. All right, easy peasy, just a quick way to get this up and going. I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below if you find this useful, if you're doing this already, if there's any gotchas that you want to let other folks know. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.